Hello and thank you for joining me. Today I purchased the Jupiter Pure 2000 watt inverter. This is a pure sine wave inverter from Harbor Freight and today I'm going to unbox it, show you the features of it, and also take a look at it on this old school oscilloscope. And not only that, I'll compare this inverter to a modified sine wave inverter. Hopefully this video will help you decide if you want to buy this inverter. If this video does help, I hope you'll subscribe and like the channel. I hope to bring you more reviews in the future. First we've got the remote control. Remote control cable. And our inverter. The remote control could easily mount on a vehicle, in a vehicle on the at front, or it looks like plenty of cable to mount your remote control also. And it does come with some mounting hardware as well. Now the inverter is unboxed. It's hooked up to the battery. First we have the outlet. The outlet has the GFI protection, the remote on-off port, USB port, DC input level, this would be your battery level, the DC to AC output, this is how much load is on the system, fault light, in the system status window you can see a low DC alarm, low DC shutoff, high DC shutoff, overload shutdown, or high temp shutoff. I'm going to turn it on. And we see we have voltage from the battery. Test the GFI protection. First, I want to hook it up to the oscilloscope and see if it looks like the sine wave that you would get from utility power. This is how a sine wave looks coming out of the utility power. Notice it's a nice smooth curve. Here is the sine wave coming out of the inverter and it is a good curve at the top. There is something in it right here, but it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And just to compare, I will hook up an inverter that is modified sine wave. Now I've got this modified sine wave inverter hooked up. This is a Jupiter, I think this is a 5,000 watt inverter. Now I've got the lights off and you could probably see it a little better. As you see, the, this is what a modified sine wave looks like. This is the modified sine wave inverter. Of course, this will run some things, but it's not, it does not match your utility power as well, and sensitive electronics would have a little problem with it. Now I am back running the Jupiter Pure 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now I have my voltmeter hooked up to it, 116 volts. And the frequency, 59.95. Normally in the US, we run at 60. So now I'll test it on a load, and to start out, I have a heat gun. And I will plug this heat gun into my test outlet. Now for the load test. I'll turn the heat gun on. And we have 112 volts, 100, between 112, 113, 11.2 amps. I think that is about 1200 watts. Sine wave looks good, and actually the sine wave looks better when you put a load on it. So next I wanted to try to run it as close to capacity as possible, so I grabbed a space heater, ran it on low at first, and got about 5 to 6 amps. Then turned it on high and got almost 16 amps. Now I'll try the remote control. Plug one in here. 
unless you have this hooked up to your ignition, you'll want to disable ignition lockout. But that is a nice feature to have if you're using it in a mobile. So the remote, just a simple on off and it works great. Next I have a Samsung tablet and I will plug it up to the USB just to see if the USB works and I do show it's charging. The next thing I want to plug in is my laptop. Okay, and I have a green light. Laptop is running off of inverter power. This is the first inverter that I know of from Harbor Freight that is a pure sine wave inverter. It's 2000 watts, really good inverter, and it seemed to run pretty efficient. Now, if you are gonna push it and use the maximum load on it, I would suggest some really good batteries and probably a bank of batteries if you intend to run it for any length of time. But according to the old school oscilloscope, it really looked good. The sine wave pretty well matched what's coming in through the utility. Now it seems like if you plug something really low like a laptop or something with a low draw, it just really doesn't consume much at all. I really do like this pure sine wave inverter. I'm glad I got it from Harbor Freight and if you're in the market for one, I do recommend you get one. Thank you for watching this video and if you like this, please subscribe. I hope to bring you some more reviews very soon.